let's get into a real demo of the auto backup feature in stash i will show you how you can configure auto backup of the similar type of databases in stash if you are using kubedb to manage your databases in your kubernetes cluster kubedb will automatically pass the annotations of the auto backup to the respective app binding if you are not managing your database using kubedb you have to add the annotation in the respective app binding that you have created for your database in this demo i will show you how to backup postgresql database using auto backup feature of stash you can see that i have installed kubedb and stash both in my computer they both both are in enterprise edition in my computer to backup a postgresql database using stash you have to create a secret containing the backend credential a repository containing the backend information and a backup configuration containing the schedule and target information a backup blueprint allows you to specify a template for the repository and the backup configuration let's see the backup blueprint manifest file the name of our backup blueprint manifest file is postgres backup template here we are using gcs bucket as our backend so we have mentioned gcs here and our bucket name is test testing you can see that our bucket this is our test testing is empty now we are providing this is secret at the storage secret name field so that uh, hence we have we have to create a secret in that namespace we are taking backup named this is secret later notice the prefix section here we can specify some variable in form of this uh, dollar sign and the curly braces stash will automatically resolve these variables from the database information to make the database prefix unique for each database instance let's create the backup blueprint the backup blueprint named postgres backup template has been created here we are going to backup a postgresql database of in demo namespace we are going to use the default configuration specified in the backup blueprint let's create the namespace demo and watch for pods repository and backup configuration resources in this step here we are treating namespace demo you can see that namespace demo has been created and in this section we are watching for pods in namespace demo similarly here we are, we are watching for repository and backup configuration in this respective sections let's create storage secret named this is secret in this demo namespace the name must be this is secret here because we have mentioned the store our store secret name as this is secret a secret named this is secret has been created now we have to create our postgres custom resource object in this demo namespace let's examine the eml file of this postgres custom resource object one thing to notice that 
the backup blueprint is non namespaced it can be accessed from any namespace you want notice the annotation section here we have mentioned our backup blueprint name in this annotation section stash will watch this annotation and create a repository and the backup blueprint according to the backup blueprint Now let's apply this Postgres. You can see that a Postgres pod has been created and here a repository and a backup configuration has been created also this we have not applied any repository or backup configuration here explicitly but stash had resolved the annotation action in our postgres manifest file let's examine the repository first our repository name is App sample Postgres one. If we extract the ML, we can see that here the repository contains the backend information we have specified in our backup blueprint, and stash automatically resolves the variable we have mentioned there. The namespace here is the namespace, the database name, and the app name. Similarly, let's examine the backup configuration. A backup configuration named App Sample Postgres One was created here. You can see that the so you can see that the name is app postgres one the name space is demo here and the schedule is same as the mentioned scheduled in backup blueprint here you can see that the schedule is same as backup blueprint so this dash will backup your database in every five minutes and it resolves it gets a ta task from the backup blueprint object also and here are some conditions of the uh, postgres and the cube db resolves the app binding here automatically You can see that the app binding has been resolved automatically by kubedb. Now we will trigger a backup using kubectl stash plugin. A backup session has been triggered using kubectl stash plugin. We can see that a backup job has been created. Now let's wait for the backup to complete it. A backup is running we can see that the backup is completed now let's examine our gcs bucket let's refresh it
you can see that a backup a stash auto backup file has been created here and a snapshot should be here here is our snapshot that has been created just now So we can see that our backup has been taken successfully by this auto backup feature. Now let's take another backup by custom schedule in another namespace. In this section, we are going to backup a Postgres database in demo to namespace. This time we are going to override the default schedule used in the backup blueprint. First, create a namespace named demo2 a namespace named demo2 has been created now let's watch for ports in this namespace we are watching for port in demo to namespace here we will watch for repository resources in this section Finally, for we will watch for backup configuration here. Let's again create the storage secret named this is secret we have to create the storage secret in every namespace where we have we are using the auto backup feature here we are we have specified the namespace name a secret named this is secret has been created in our demo to namespace now Let's create a Postgres custom resource object in this demo to namespace. Let's first examine the YAML file of this custom resource object. Here you can see that in the annotation section, the backup blueprint is same, but we have specified another annotation. Uh, we have specified the schedule and it will overwrite the mentioned schedule in backup blueprint in the in earlier section let's create the database a Postgres object has been created here in demo to namespace and we can see that a backup configuration has been created in the mentioned schedule in our Postgres custom resource object and a repository has been created accordingly. If we examine the repository Our repository name is app sample postgres2 
you can see that our prefix variable has been resolved accordingly to our namespace here. This path is demo2 and this application name is sample postgres2. If we get the backup configuration object, you can see that Backup configuration object is app sample postgres2. You can see that the schedule is the last mentioned schedule in our postgres2 YAML file. And a app ending has been created by QTV. You can see that app ending here. And sample postgres too. A backup session has been created by this time. We can see the result in cloud if here you can see that a another folder is created named demo2 and similarly a backup has been taken here in for demo demo2 namespace 